Hello. Hi, Bert. This is Caleb. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, I'm calling about the property on Moonflower Court in Palm Desert. What about it? Uh, my cash offer team said something. They passed this on to me for follow-up. They last talked to you on like November 24th. Um, and I, I guess they had a cash offer that just didn't work out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you getting a lot of calls? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, I, I call, I'm calling because I'm the creative finance guy. I, uh, I follow up on leads where for our team where the cash offer doesn't work, right? If you need a higher price than we, we're allowed to offer, then I can I call and ask if there's anything else that we can do to bring a better offer to the table for you. Um, and usually that involves some sort of uh, higher price on our part in exchange for terms on your part. Is that a discussion you'd be willing to have? What do you mean by terms? Uh, well, it's there's uh, it varies a lot in, in what we can do. Uh, for example, uh, one person really cared about the price and they didn't need the cash. And so what we did was we gave them a down payment and then made payments over time and let them have interest, earn interest on the money that like the house is basically a savings account that earns interest the whole time. Um, other people are looking to upgrade and go to different properties. And so we'll help them facilitate a 1031 exchange. Um, you know, uh, there's there's so many different things we can do, but the the cash offer part is the previous stage, and I think they've already made their maximum cash offer, and it just didn't work out. So I'm authorized to pay more if we find some sort of terms that are agreeable between you and I, and I'm looking to turn properties into I either do fix and flip, or long term rental or short term rental. So I've got plenty of exit strategies. We just have to figure out if if there's a way that uh, you and I can agree on on a way to buy it. I think not at this time. Understood. Is this something Probably you? Year. Okay. Is this something you wanted to sell, or was it just like uh, they called you and you'd consider it if they came up to the right spot? Well, let's put it this way: I'm 85 years old. Sure. So either I sell it or my estate sells it. <laughs> so, so one way or the other, yeah, eventually I want to sell it, but the eventually I still want to use it. Understood. I've done short-term uh, payments before, if that's something that you consider. I mean, this is rented out, correct? No, it is not. Oh, it shows as it shows on public um, my, one of my public record tools as not owner-occupied. So you're living in this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. My mistake. Oops. Okay. Well. Okay. Talk to you another year. Okay, and thanks. I don't need Jen. No, no, understood. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Sure. Not motivated, guys. That was not a motivated lead. Don't send me that. Who did that? Who sent this in? I need to figure that out. Not a lead.